busy, still at home, still in quarantine, still wearing a of book. You can tell it's the same freaking day because I'm wearing the same shirt. Hello. So I figured that maybe I could do a little book tube tag theme hooch. Um and just kinda get all loopy goosey talking about books and things like that. So um I found this um tag for spring. It's called the I Love Spring tag. Um, and I believe it was first done by my secret book club, which I know I wrote down to myself. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. And um uh yeah, so I figured I could do that because honestly, even though I'm um kind of a fall, late fall baby, I definitely count spring as like one of my favorite times of year. Um I mean I, I do love the spring fall. But um the best part about spring to me is like just the return of the light and the heat and the birds. So yeah. Okay. So we'll we'll start the tag. So the first question is how is spring where you live? Um I live in New England and I've always lived here so I don't really know anything about spring anywhere else um here it kind of depends on the state you're in um where I grew up still has snow in fact they got like eight or nine inches um a few days ago but where I live currently um we did get a random snowstorm a couple of days ago and that left us about maybe an inch and then it immediately rained following that and all of the snow is gone and now everything is just kind of brown and yucky again um i'm sure that all of the geese that are in our front yard are really freaking confused right now so that's about how spring is here um second question is what is the most anticipated um spring release that you're looking forward to and I honestly am not very good at keeping track of spring releases or any kind of releases of books unless it's like um, a particular series that I really am into but I did see well I did look it up <laughs> um, to see what was coming out before I did this and I saw that there are two books that I'm possibly interested in. Um, one is called Afterlife by Julia Alvarez. And though the topic sounds like it'll be a little hard to get through, um, I really remember um, loving Julia Alvarez's books. Um, I was very into them when I was a teenager. Um, so I would say that is a book that I am anticipating. And also, um, I'm very much into true crime lately, and one of the books that is coming out is about um, the serial killer Jane Toppin, who is actually pretty famous for where I live because she is from Boston. Um, and the book is called America's First Female Serial Killer. And yeah, it's all about Jane Toppin. So that one sounds pretty good. It is by Mary K. McFrayer. And that comes out, I believe, in May. Uh, next question is, what is a cover that makes you think of spring? Let me see. This one is Anne of Avonlea by L.R. Montgomery. Um, this one always makes me think of spring, even though, I mean, I know she's holding like Black Eyed Susans or something, so it looks more like summer maybe, but um, actually a lot of uh, these covers of this series make me think kind of spring, but this one does especially. And it's the second book in the uh, hand series. 
And let me see. Fourth question is, where are you reading? Um, I am reading here. <laughs> um, I don't know how long all of this is going on for. So uh, I'm doing a lot of reading inside um, in various rooms of the house. So living room, bedroom, probably here in the little office. Um, maybe on the back deck, if my, like, vitamin D deficiency gets much worse, I guess we'll try to get some sun, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be probably around the house reading, a lot of around the house reading. Um, yeah. Uh, next up is, uh, find a cover with a sun on it. Let me try to find this book with a sun. What book do I want to have fun? Oh, pull up, pull up. I got one. I got everything's gonna fall down. Everything's gonna fall all the way freaking down. Ah. Sun is. Painted Gold by Clive Hustler, which also, incidentally, I am so sad that he is no longer going to be around making wonderful books, but yes, fun. fun. All right, next up on questions, let's see, we've got favorite spring reads. This I can do. So, when it comes to spring, I tend to reach for um, fairy tale esque books and romances, and sometimes also classics. So that's mostly what I've got here. Um, so, one such fantasy type fairy tale thing would be um, the Oz Chronicles, basically. So, this has, I guess I got this at like Barnes and Noble, and that was still a thing. Um, this has the first seven books in the Oz series, and so far, despite having owned this for a while, I have only really read The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. I haven't read any of the other. Well, actually, I take that back. I have read The Marvelous Wind of Oz. I read that when I was little. Um, but uh, that's as far as I got in here. So. This would be a really good spring read. I don't know, I always feel like something fairy tale esque and this kind of goes along in that. So uh yeah, old timey Wizard of Oz, probably a good series. Um I don't really like Alice in Wonderland, but that would also be a really good kind of old timey fantasy to read for spring. Um let's see, other than that. I like to read romance novels. Um, one of these series would be The Bridal Quartet by Nora Roberts. Um, it consists of these four books. Um, if you're a bride who wants some kind of light, nice reading, um, maybe you're a little sad because how things are working out for your wedding right now. Um, maybe cheer yourself up with this series, I guess. Um, so there's four books. It follows four friends who have their own um, wedding planning company, and it kind of follows them and their lives and loves. So it's uh, starting out with Vision in White, uh, Bed of Roses, Savor the Moment, and Happy Ever After. Personally, my favorite is the first one, but yeah, that's a nice, good, light romance -y spring read, even though it doesn't all take place in spring, but I don't know, it always makes me think of spring. Um, another romance slash Classic, so that's like classics in spring, would be Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, this one 
I chose this one rather than Pride and Prejudice. I mean, Pride and Prejudice is also a really good um, kind of light spring read, but this one, I mean, it's got a little bit of a spooky tinge to it, but it's also really funny, really satirical, and the romance in it is kind of bubbly and cute, and like I said, there's also a satire in it, but it's very enjoyable, so I would say, yeah, reach for something like this, or classic like this, that's what, that's what I do normally anyway. And another thing I would say would be Anne of Green Gables. Um, like I said, this one makes me think of spring. Um, but I would say this whole series, um, even though, yeah, it takes place over different seasons and years and everything, it, it does have that kind of feel to it for me anyway. Um, and I do plan on rereading this. I haven't read this since probably some time in high school, so I do plan on rereading this this series at some point this spring. So these are the first two series. Um but yeah, those are those are my kind of spring read ideas uh or books that I like to reach for more in spring. Uh let me see next up is find a book with many colors. Okay, book of many colors, book of many, many colors. Okay. You know what, this. we're gonna go with this one, because I mean, it could have more colors but it has colors. So, um, I would say Finding Fraser. That has a bunch of colors on it. And so, um, so actually, this is also a good romance read to reach for, I guess. If you like Scotland and you like Allender, you should check this out. It's cute. Um, uh, and let's see. The last question is, who do you tag? Um, I don't know anyone on here. I watch people on here. Um, you know, I've randomly commented maybe a time or two, but I don't know anyone. I'm not really friends with anyone. I have really posted a video. Well, I posted videos before, but they're, like, not related to this stuff. So, I don't know. Um, anyone who wants to do it, do you want to do it? Have you not done it before? Have have fun. It's spring. We're here. We're just here. So, yeah. That's who I tag. Um, okay. I don't know how to end this. I don't edit. I don't know how to edit because I'm officially an old woman. I don't know how to do any of this. So, sorry. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.